This is a uh, video for the method of finding the coordinates on a unit circle for pi over 4, uh, 3 pi over 4, uh, 5 pi over 4, 7 pi over 4. Um, so to start off, we're going to create a right triangle from this coordinate here. We're going to come straight down, and we're also going to come over to it. So we get this nice little right triangle here. And what's good about this right triangle is I know that this angle in this little um, corner here, this theta is pi over 4. Well, if that's pi over 4, that's 45 degrees. And if this is a right triangle, this angle up here is also 45 degrees. So it makes it an isosceles right triangle. We know the length of this side is going to be 1 because it is a unit circle. And what I can do here is just label both of these sides exactly the same. Both of them are going to be x because it is an isosceles triangle. Then we can use Pythagorean theorem. Um, c squared equals a squared plus b squared is the formula, where c is the hypotenuse. So the hypotenuse is 1 squared, and the two legs are going to be a x squared plus x squared. So 1 squared is 1, and it's going to equal 2 times x squared. And if we solve for x, we're going to get x squared is equal to a half. And finally, x is going to equal square rooting both sides. Remember, it's going to have that plus or minus. And it's going to be the square root of 1, which is 1, over the square root of 2. This is an acceptable form, but um, a lot of textbooks will write this as square root of 2 over 2, the rationalized form of it. Um, but later on, you might want to kind of lean towards the 1 over square root of 2 writing. Uh, especially if you see square root of 2 over 2, you might want to write it as 1 over square root of 2. But that's later, uh, not right now. All right, so the um, x-coordinate, since this is in the first quadrant, is going to be 1 over square root of 2. But also, since this is a, actually the y-value, the height of this line, but it's also x, they're going to be equal. We're going to get 1 over square root of 2. So the sine of 45 degrees, or the sine of pi over 4, is going to be the y-coordinate, which is 1 over square root of 2. The cosine of pi over 4 is going to be 1 over square root of 2. And the tangent, since it's y over x, and they're the same number, of pi over 4 is going to be 1. And we can kind of extend this definition um, to go a little bit further. We could look at this line here. This would be 3 pi over 4. And the only thing that changes in the coordinates is our x went from a positive value to a negative value. So this would be negative 1 over square root of 2, comma, positive 1 over square root of 2. And we can also extend that down further. We can come down here. This would be uh, 5 pi over 4. Notice what happens. This is 1 pi over 4. Here's 2 pi over 4, better known as uh, pi over 2. This is 3 pi over 4 to get to this line. This is 4 pi over 4, which is you know just regular old pi, so this would be 5 pi over 4. And the coordinate for that point, um, the x is negative and the y is negative, but they're going to have the same values. So this would be negative 1 over square root of 2, comma, negative 1 over square root of 2. And then finally, we can come all the way around into the fourth quadrant, and this angle here would be uh, 7 pi over 4, and it would have coordinates where x is positive and y is negative. So this would be uh, 1 over square root of 2, positive x, and negative 1 over square root of 2, negative y. So if I ask what is the cosine of 7 pi over 4, it would be at this coordinate value, and cosine is equal to the x-coordinate, and that would equal 1 over square root of 2. And if I wanted sine of 5 pi over 4, that would be in the third quadrant, that would be this angle here, and sine is equal to the y-coordinate, and it would equal negative 1 over square root of 2. So that would be the unit circle definition of pi's over 4 as we go around one full rotation.